finishing three wins clear of Eastern Suburbs, who proved a tough obstacle in the playoffs, as Noel Cleal remembers. We played the Roosters in the, in the Major Semi, and, and that was probably as tough a game as I played in, 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 in all the time I played in Sydney. And, uh, we had the week off the next week, and had we had to play like the Roosters did, uh, we, we probably they went out the back door against uh, an unheralded Canberra side, and uh, eventually we beat Canberra in the grand final. But I sort of knew we were going to win it. It was one of those seasons, and, that, and there was a feeling within the club, and we, we knew we had the best side, and we knew we were going we to do well. Unlike '83, we, we'd made that mistake of not firing on the day. And, uh, and when we won it, it was it was more of a sense, you know, Bozo had won his first grand final as a coach. Uh, it was more of a sense of um, whew, we've done it, you know. Um, and, and no doubt the celebrations were long and hard afterwards. But it, it probably um, it was probably more of a relief to win, actually win. That you know, was my seventh or eighth year in Sydney. Points certainly weren't as easy to come by in our next magic memory, which recalls one of the toughest semi-finals ever played at the Sydney Cricket Ground. The first grand final berth of 1987 was up for grabs when Eastern Suburbs and Manly Warringah arm wrestled each other in a magnificent major semi that left most players feeling sick and sorry for several days afterwards. With the likes of Paul Borton, Phil Daly and Michael O'Connor leading the way, Manly received a 10-6 verdict which earned the Sea Eagles the welcome treat of an extra week's break before the grand final, which eventually saw them become premiers for the first time in nine years. Good stuff from Lisa Suburbs, using the ball out to McGahn, McGahn to Spina, the crowd are coming alive, Spina's on the move, tries to get a pass away, does so, and uh, that player's been put down only about three metres out, out to Hall, all along, cut out pass to Smith, Smith got a pass away to French, and French is in for a try, and it looked forward to me. Welcome to this major semi-final in the Winfield Cup from the Sydney Cricket Ground, where today Manly Warringah take on Eastern Suburbs. And the winner of this encounter will be back here on the Sydney Cricket Ground the 27th of September as the first grand finalist. Manly captain Paul Borton leads the Sea Eagles out today. Tuella, way to McGann, switches the play back to Spina. Spina out to Brendan Hall. And that will be a handover. They've had the fortnight's layoff now. If there's any communication problems for the Sea Eagles, it'll be around the rucks. Cliff Lyons has got to be dominant, and so is Malcolm Cochran out of the dummy half row. Well, there's a terrible mistake by Manley, failing to find touch from a, a penalty. Gil Mesa away to Shepard. Shepard's got it out to McGann. McGann on the fly to Spina. Spina hit hard by Lyons. Stopped him dead in his tracks. That was a, a fierce tackle. Came in very, very strongly. Simpkins on to Shepard. Shepard taken hard and high. Got a pass away somehow. I don't know how, but he got it to Simpkins. Tuella. The Rampling. Spina. Paul. Melrose stopped dead in his tracks by Williams. Oh, hell, bells. This is torrent stuff out in the back, so I can tell you. There's a manly player down in the background on the other side. If you can uh, take a, uh, a sighting on that one, David. But, I think uh, it might be Michael O'Connor, actually, the man that's down injured, but it was a solid tackle on Rampling, and he's paid the penalty. There's a forward pass. Now, O'Connor is, uh, is going to be a little bit uh, belated in getting up. He's taken a heck of a knock. Manly territory. On a French. On to uh, Shepard, rather. There came straight and true. Rampling. A good bust through the Manly forwards. Got uh, behind, behind them. Simpkins switches it out from the blind side, out there to Gilmeister. About seven metres now from the Manly quarter. Chuella, legs picked off with a good tackle by Gibbs, just used himself as a projectile then. Spina, Morris, holds the ball up. Tackled on the, uh, the quarter, got up and played it. He's going to be penalised, he had a marker there. Cochran, Lyons, the kick. It's a, a high punt. All Smith's under some pressure here. He's got to try to get it out from his goal line. He's not going to succeed. He's really put away there well by Shearer and Lyons, who came through at a rate of knots. Beautiful tackle there. Absolutely superb from Hugh McGahn. Took uh, Shearer out of the play, but he's not done himself any good. Cochran, Williams, kicks across field. 
nearly taken by... Well, Tice Hurst has uh, taken a bit of a stroll out, and now he's been told to come back to the grandstand because uh, O'Connor's OK. Hasler in possession. Three metres his own side of halfway. Lions at dummy half. Away to Shearer. Well, they're cancelling each other out at the moment. There's not much in the way of open play. Concerted open play. Gordon. Well, now there's an eastern suburbs player going to be cautioned about that one. Halfway. Spina. He's made a break and it's a good one too. He's got right through the gap. Looks back on the inside. Gets it back inside the French. French taken out of the play by Bort with a good tackle. Good ball and all tackle. Holding him down. There'll be a penalty if he doesn't. Brendan Hall gets it a pass away. The kick's gone there. And it's been miraculously saved by Shearer, has it? Now Manly in possession. Only about 30 metres out from the eastern suburbs line. Clear. Borton decides to straighten it up. There were too many up on the outside, quickly on his own back line. Cochran, Daly. Got a pass away, back to Cochran. Vaughton, Lyons. Got a pass there to Gibbs. Gibbs knocks on. Still no score in the match. And the Manly side having a great deal of difficulty getting through a pretty well-drilled Eastern Suburbs defence. Shearer gets it downfield. It's end over end. Worth feels at 10 metres from his line on the second bounce. He runs into a swarm of trouble there. Back to Gibbs. Swivels and goes back up the blind side. Got a pass away to Davis. The wing three-quarter out to Michael O'Connor. Got a pass back into Cochran. Cochran's motoring up the sideline and has been taken over the sideline. It's a bustling type of defence from Eastern Suburbs. They're moving up very quickly, both sides of the rucks. Good uh, nearly break, short break on the blind side by Cochran, but I'd like to see Manly give themselves the opportunities of being able to turn the ball back inside, use Cleal back inside off quick lines, give that Eastern Suburbs defence something to think about back up in the middle of the ruck. Well, Vaughton came out of that scrum there, expecting the Eastern Suburbs win and fell over. Here's French playing in the centres, number 16. He's 10 metres out beyond the eastern suburbs quarter. Cut out pass to McGahn, another one out there to Smith. Goes for a sprint, stands the tackle. Away to Shearer, elects to kick. It's gone over Worth's head. It's going to roll back towards his goal line. Now, there's plenty of chases coming through, but they're going to allow him to get out to the quarter line. It's a good run from Worth. Excellent. Ten metres back towards the halfway. That's how far he's gone. Smith un under a tackle from Hasler. Fighting every inch of the way to get to the halfway line. Speeder. Melrose. Cut out past to McGahn. Gun. Gordon has been uh, taken off the field and we're going to have a replacement, David? Yes, Owen Cunningham uh, in 21, the man in picture, has come on. The young fellow that came on uh, at Brookvale Able for a first grade debut earlier this year and had an outstanding game. But Paul Borton into the head bin for stitches to the cut to the right eye. Well, Owen Cunningham has performed admirably on the occasions he's been brought on as a replacement for Manly in past games. So I don't think they'll be weakened in any great way by his loss. By the loss of Borton, rather. Hasler. Pass back inside to Cochrane to Lyons. Taken out of it by Simpkins. Right on the halfway line. Daly. Daly streaming forward, looking for support. He's made a good break. Gets a pass away there to Cochrane. Cochrane stands in a tackle. Got a pass away there. I think it's been taken by Crusher Cleal, who's trying to get to his feet. Lyons gets it. And it's going to be a penalty. Cover taking a long time to have a look at this. Gets the points, so Manly have hit the front and it's taken a long, long while. We've been going for 28 minutes. Manly 2, Eastern Suburbs nil. An arm around the shoulders. Cunningham goes away for a bit of a sprint there. Trevor Patterson's, on. Trevor Patterson's coming on for... Uh, 
For somebody, Tony Rampling, yes, that's correct. He's coming on for Rampling. I think he's using the uh, the torn boot as the uh, head bin. Rex using the rules uh, pretty loosely. Lions, a pass away to Shearer. Shearer steps. Went very close to losing that ball. Perilously close. Last tackle coming up now. Williams away to Lions. Kick downfield. Chase is not on. There's nobody really seriously chasing it. Worth takes a long time to get it. Gets a, a cuffing tackle by Hasler. Hasler's been spoken to by the referee, but he's allowing play to proceed because Worth straight up. Slippery Morris has taken play around and they're trying to drag him over the sideline. That'd be stupid to do that. Cunningham at dummy half out to Hasler. Lyons still trying to stretch it wide. Cleal's there. Got a pass back inside to Shearer. The fullback, Gilmeister, Spinner, Paul, McGahn, Melrose. Stands in a tackle, back to McGahn. McGahn loses the ball full, picked up by Lyons. Lyons goes out towards the quarter line before being put down. Well, Paul Borton's OK and about to make a reappearance on the field. Just the bare eight stitches he's had by gee, they're hard men, aren't they? Well, Cochran gets another kick or gets another penalty. Get on the board. Pass looked a little bit forward to Crusher Cleal. Just a touch and the pressure's off. And the hand was going up there from Malcolm Cochran too, just yelling out to Crusher there, when you're going to come, make sure you come from the deep. Manly forwards on occasion standing too flat as we see Patterson make his way off and ramping back out there. Two minutes exactly to half time. Spina's got the ball in his hands. He's beaten Borton. Hasler comes away and Lyons comes across and picks him off very nicely. And only about a minute and a half, so with the feed from Manly, the Eastern Suburbs back line is flat. So many times you see a side now use the option of a kick into the end goal. Manley will go the open through. Hasler got a pass away beautifully to Williams. Williams has got it away up to Ronson, and Ronson's going to score. He's going to go around a little bit. That's a good try at a critical moment in the last couple of minutes before half time. Manley's Ronson has gone in for a good try. Good quick hands for Williams. See it again. On the State Bank replay, one of the most difficult positions on the field to defend. Scrum set nearly in the middle of the of the field and we saw Cliff Lyons use as a dummy as he went back to the blind side. Hasler didn't decide to pass to Lyons, used the option and went out wide and some beautiful passing from the Manly backs. He got outside, just outside Brandon Hall, enough to drag in the defences of the Eastern Suburbs centres and some great passing, long passing and right in front of the man bursting onto it. Perfect rugby league to take this advantage just before the break. You saw Lyons try and dummy himself to the blind. That was the all important pass from Hasler that dragged in the defence. Left the, left the way open for Ronson and he charged onto the ball. Cruella tried to get there in vain, but what an important try for Manly. Well, there's the man. The corner kick. Well, not an easy angle, but he's really managed it with a beautifully caressed kick. He really failed to belt that. He just caressed it. So on the half-time break, we've got a scoreline that reads Manly 8. Eastern Suburbs still. The try came to Robson, you remember it, it just happened just a few seconds before half-time. And goals, two from two to Michael O'Connor, Eastern Suburbs yet to get on the board. A magnificent day out here with a great crowd, I don't know what it is, but we're hopeful of seeing some more excellent football in the second half. I'll be back then. Well, Manley's coming back onto the field at the moment. Eastern Suburbs are already out there. Easts are facing a uh, deficit of eight points to nil. Cochran. Shearer's kick downfield. Goes to work. Beautifully taken. Positioning himself magnificently. Went down to it. He's tackled on the halfway line. Melrose, a long cutout pass. Out to Hall. Carrying that strapping on his knee. He did last week too. McGarn looking for the inside pass there. Crusher Cleal comes up with a, another solid tackle. Yeah. I think it was Williams. Yeah. Shearer just 
just angling there slightly sideways and not being able to get, get, get a go on. Pocock. That's a good tear away run, about 14 or 15 metres. Cochran. Hasler. Lyons. Or oh, through the ball anywhere. That was ridiculous. He was looking for an outside pass. <laughs> on, on Williams and Williams and overrunning. Good run here by Snow. He's going to score a time. He's home by the look of it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. The referee. Now he's ruled a, a double movement. The referee has ruled a double movement. It looked a doubtful one to me, but uh, I would uh, see that again and see what you think yourself. Well, he certainly could have kept his mind on the job. I think that his momentum was still carrying. The ball hadn't reached the ground at any stage there. Shepard right here, if he had have convinced himself that he was going to stride right out, he was looking for support. Now the tackle was still taking him. Well, I'm going to call that a try for Eastern Suburbs. Manly have got to get their mind back on the job. Their forwards especially, they've got to control this ball and finish uh, or start this second half rather the way they finished the first half. They've come up with another error now. They're the ones that match fitness-wise won't be finished on in this game. You would expect each and some of them to finish the stronger. Ten metres in from the sideline. No goal taken by Shearer. He's evaded two tackles. Brings it out ten metres. Good stuff. But hasn't had one yet. Gibbs running from dummy half. Good strong diagonal run. Hasler goes off at a gallop. He's tearing through and he's up to the quarter. Good play. Shearer, Borton, Lyons, slips, pivots, tries to go back on the inside there. Borton. Shearer puts the bomb up, comes through. It hasn't gone very far. Worth makes a meal of it. Fallen on by Gibbs. Manly six to go. Inside the quarter. Lions to Shearer. About 18 metres out from the eastern suburbs line. Hasler to Borden. Very powerful play. Got up, plays it forward as he's entitled to do. Goes to within three metres of scoring. Where's Crusher Cleal? Hasler, Lions back on the inside to Crusher. He couldn't make the uh, the proper impetus to get himself over. He's played it forward and has scored. No, he hasn't. He's offside. <laughs> Walked off the mark, played it, kicked it ahead. Comes centre. Chuella mounts a charge up the middle. Magan, Spinner. Back to Gilmeister. Shepard dropped it. Picked up by Williams. pocock has got it. Goes back towards the eastern suburbs line. Ball's been kicked through yards. And it's a penalty against Laurie Spina for lifting his foot before the ball was down. We'll see what he comes up with on this occasion. Nine metres outside the quarter. G's made no mistake, three from three, Michael O'Connor. There's Gately, first touch of the football. Shearer kicks downfield, it's away from work. Slippery Morris might get to it first, he does. And he's driven back into the quarter. Oh, I think he milked that. I really do think Slippery Morris milked that. Said again, I may be being difficult, but I thought he made a real meal of that tackle. Ten metres from the halfway. Here's the last kick, the last uh, tackle. And a good clever bit of football by Melrose there. this year, was not a regular first grader at the start of the season. The 
dummy out to McGann. And he's being uh, tackled a fair bit today. Spina. Young Hall gets through one tackle of Lions, but uh, Hasler was able to get to him. Got a pass back inside to Rampling. Rampling loses the ball forward. It's run against the feed. It's good stuff from Eastern Suburbs, using the ball out to McGann. McGann to Spina. The crowd are coming alive. Spina's on the move. Tries to get a pass away, does so. And uh, that player's been put out only about three metres out. Out to Hall. All the long cutout pass to Smith. Smith got a pass away to French and French is in for a try and it looked forward to me. I think Mr McCullum's made a blunder. The pass looks a foot forward. No problems. So now the score of this wide open semi-final. Manly 10, Eastern Suburbs 6. Borden, Lyons, tries to slow the play down occasionally, Lyons. Pocock running very, very fiercely at the opposition, 10 metres out from the quarter. Hasler, Lyons, Williams, little kick over the top, beautifully taken by Smith. And he's brought undone by Tyshurst. And Williams. McGahn runs at the opposition hard. No attempt to use any skill there, any ball skills. Away to Patterson. Hasler. Lions. Back to Cleal. Cleal taken beautifully. Not giving him an inch. Bronson. The defence of Eastern Suburbs has been pretty near excellent, apart from the one try that Manley scored, the kick downfield. We'll go to Worth. Worth going to try to bring it back. He's run around two of them. It's a good tackle there by Williams, came across in great cover and took him ball and all. Milrose, out to Hall. McGarr, Rampling. He brings it all undone by getting tackled in possession. He's still running on. He's going to be penalised. Oh, dear, oh, dear, Rampling. You do have to understand the rules of the game. Lions. He's right through. Gets the pass back on the inside to Williams. He's lost the ball. The ball's been kicked through, and it's a penalty to Manley. Holding a tackle, holding a player away from the ball. And there's no doubt about it, when Cliffy Lyons turned and looked back inside, David French was the man that had hold of the Manly support players. And he's missed it. So the score remains. Manly 10, Eastern Suburbs 6. Conventional tackle, but very effective. Shearer. Shearer! Stepped and weaved his way through three or four of them there. Out to Vaughton. Out to Lyons, Lyons dummies, goes back on the inside, looking for support, couldn't get a pass away. Cochran, Vaughan. Gibbs was on his shoulder, but couldn't get the ball. Crusher Cleal. Out to Hasler. Hasler back inside the Lions. Lions will go all the way. No, he's got him for a double movement. I can't believe it. This is the third ruling against the double movement in the semi-final action this weekend. This has got to be a try for Manly. The momentum's carried him across the line. The top half of his body's ended up going across this try line. I really can't believe the crackdown by both referees this weekend. See it for yourself as he bounces. He just hits. Look, his waist and legs have gone across the try line. That's a try to Manly. Mr McCullough in all sorts of trouble at the moment. One would suggest that he's... Uh, trying to be so fair to either side that uh, he's lost control of the game slightly. Anyway, we shall see. McLean. 
who was playing very, very forceful football until knee injuries put a pay to that, but he's come back well. Chuella, eight minutes to go now. Gilmeister runs from dummy half, there was nobody there to pass the football to. Well, there's Michael O'Connor, Ticehurst coming from the field, Michael O'Connor's on. We've got a player being decked, but the referee has seen it and not going to rule on it. Speeder was the man. Davis wrestling there with Melrose and McLean. He's managed to gain a few extra yards in the tackle. Vaughan Shearer. Keep a countdown for you. We're inside the last five minutes. Eastern Summer is moving it around like a hot potato at the moment. Gary Worth tackle by O'Connor. Melrose, long cutout pass. The pass probably went forward. It did. In injury time, in effect, Gately. This has been fought out in a blood and guts fashion, this match, I can tell you. Cochran from dummy half. Back inside to Cleal. Steam straight ahead. Cochran from dummy half. Got a pass away to Cunningham. Cunningham looks back on the inside. Gets a pass away to Cleal, but it's gone forward. I think in reflection that we should have had that pass go on the outside there but uh, about 12 metres out from his line out to McGarn good strong defence there on uh, French spinning it very wide very quickly Patterson's in possession they've come up outside the corner they're approaching the halfway line and there's the hooter so Manly are into the grand final for 1987 to play the winner of the match next week between Eastern Suburbs and Canberra. So Arthur Beetson there has still got a week of his football to go, of his coaching. The score is befitting a major semi-final, fairly low, 10 points to 6. Bronson scored a try for Manly.